today on Pac-Man's 40th birthday. I mean, okay, his, birth his birthday's kind of already passed, but it's still technically the anniversary year, so that technically counts. Mm -hmm. uh, Namco have unleashed a rather odd little uh, sort of collections for multiple platforms like the Switch, the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. This is the Namco Museum Archives, or the Namco Collection if you live in Japan. And mm. uh, this is a sort of an interesting little hodgepodge of games because... Uh, Instead of just being a typical collection of all of their all of Namco's, you know, arcade classics, they're bringing us our arcade classics as they were brought to the NES slash Famicom. Oh, okay. Huh. So, I mean, backing up just a sec, like, I already am on board with this just because, like, I also love I also love low key the fact that they are basically going. Yeah, how's that SNES NES collection coming along there, Nintendo? Fine, we'll do it ourselves. Actually, if not that, I was also just thinking more along the lines of they see Capcom making like bunches with the uh, Mega Man, uh, ad uh, the Mega Man Legacy collections, and they're like, why don't we get a slice of that pie? I mean, essentially, yeah. So, um, for the sake of the Western release, they actually split the split the whole thing into two into two collections. The first collection up to that, we have Galaxian, Pac-Man, Xevious, Mappy, one of my personal favorites, uh, Dig Dug, The Tower of Juraga, Sky Kid, Dragon Buster, Dragon Spirit, uh... That. This thing. Splatterhouse. Oh, okay, Splatterhouse, right. Yeah, Splatterhouse, Wampaku Graffiti, which was... Uh -huh. Actually, this is the first time it's ever been released in the West, and we'll get into this one momentarily. And... That. Exclusively for Volume 1, a brand new demake of Pac-Man Championship Edition. And... Interesting. Given, given YouTube analytics showing me that you, usually you people like to only watch the first five, five or so minutes of our video, we're gonna start with this first, just so you guys are interested right off the bat. Wait, they, wait, the, that, wait the analytics said that, and they just taught, and they clicked off immediately? Eh, I mean, it depends on the individual, but that's just, that, that's just the analytics for you. But anyway, we'll get into that talk, kind of talk another time. So, Pac-Man Championship Edition got a D, an NES-related D-make, and, um, kind of caught me by total surprise. And, um, even, even, the, even with that, you know, D-make treatment in mind, it still feels about as chaotic as the actual thing. Awesome. Also, oh my god, yeah, earlier when you were showing off all the video, when you were showing off all the games, I was thinking, wow, James synced up this video perfectly, he's doing it right as they're showing off, and I'm like, oh wait, this isn't post, we're doing it live, I forgot. We're doing uh, it live, that's right, because, and as I speak right now, Pac-Man is, j Super Pac-Man, Carl Sick is Jason Wait, spoiler warning, you never get to be Super Pac-Man in this championship collection, so, um, I'm gonna actually let you guys in, I'm gonna actually let you guys have the choice here. Should we play on the normal mode, or should we play on the extra mode, which which basically randomizes the type of ma maze design that we'll be dealing with. You know what? Uh, Let's go wild and go extra. Yeah, I want to see you think on your feet. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. All right, extra mode, go! And actually, it's a good thing too because it's actually a shorter mode than the normal mode. Uh, and oh. here we go. So okay. basically, Dude, oh for gosh. those that have never played Pac-Man Championship Edition before, it was basically an updated take on the original Pac-Man made by Pac-Man's um, creator, in which. Uh, both, both sides of the maze will have a, a oh. maze, specific maze design, and, well, your goal is to basically chomp all the pack dots on that side. Once that happens, the other side will have a fruit, which, when you pick that up, a new a new assortment of uh, dots and whatnot are brought onto the table. So it's a big, and, and I usually like, as we've seen here, I usually like how, like, fluid, um, all of the, uh, the dots are spread out, and oh my gosh, this thing just got bigger. Ah. And it loops. Oh my I was god, about whoa. To say, this also counts. Oh. Oops. Oh man. I, I but I but I absolutely see what happened there and I don't blame you, James. Like it's so it's so tempting just to follow it like you're just following a street, like it's all right. Oops. Yeah. Okay, that time he had no excuse. The, Fair. Well, the, well, there we were like cornered. Okay. Three. It is one of those things where uh Championship Edition DX sort of spoiled me because you like in that mode in particular, technically the actual ghosts themselves don't really pop up until you start making more progress throughout the mazes. Uh, in, the mean, oh. in the meanwhile, though, there's like multiple mini ghosts that pop up in which you have to lure to start chasing you, and they start like a little ghost train of a sort. And then once you grab the power pellet, in particular, you turn the other way and munch on them like like a freaking locomotive. Right, I remember you know, that. Thing, uh, go ahead, I... I was about to say, I will say yes. one thing that's uh -huh. kind of like... Uh, not like a total detriment, but something that is kind of like bothering me with this D make is that, like, I appreciate the effort went into it, but something about Ooh, because oh, you were kind because of we know there. I was about to say because we know how like really flashy the original game is. For some reason, in this D made NES style, it kind of looks like a little bit of an eyesore. 
There's a lot happening at once. Yeah. I mean, it would be more of an eyesore if the colors were a little more saturated, which thankfully they're not. The, the well, top just and being... the bottom of the screen's what's ah. going on. Oh, oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah, it pulses to the beat there. Yeah, it's like, it's a pulsing, it's like all, it's all of it's just kind of like flashing to the beat and whatnot. It kind of makes it like, like if you have like very sensitive Gosh. vision, I could see you being like really disoriented <laughs> with this. Right, I can see that. And, oh, nice. Power pellet, thank you. And the Lord's just left to be cake and ghosts. Right. And ghost but, cake. But yeah, and see. Music too, and, oh, and also bugs. Oh, jeez. Nice, nice. But yeah, other than that, this looks like a freaking like. When you put it, ne when you put this next to the original, this does come out looking a lot more high octane and energetic than. Yeah, <laughs> okay, man. there he just caught up with us. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I mean that is kind of the de the downfall of you know eating and eating and eating and <laughs> eating and running at the same time. Uh, um, I want to ask, go are, we gonna, are we playing until you get a game over, or when are we gonna switch to the next game? Because oh, ten, nine. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go. Hype. It's a timed mode. Oh, Five, actually, I forgot four, about the timer. Three. Ow. Fuck. Two, Oops. one, done. Oh, and also uh, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's just the screen share, but any time it shows like that, like finish or the countdown, it looks like it only shows like chunks of it instead of the whole I, thing. I noticed that too. That's pretty much that's the, that's idiot's flickering for you, but um. Oh, it's the yeah. 60 FPS thing, right? Go I ahead. Mean, oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, despite that poor display, I still got a pretty decent score, and I do love this little uh, mix of uh, pack and pal they play in the background. It, it's extra funky. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I see. This shows what you did over the course of your time, and nice. Uh, uh oh, G oh no! Uh <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> well, you got I mean, place. good enough. Yeah, but you know I, I, that 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 did look very fun. Uh, I love some of the details on the sprite work, even when like the sparks are flying as you're grinding against the walls. Yeah, I will admit though that this version that this version of uh, Pac-Man, you know, being a D make of a sort, kind of cheats a bit because some of these sound effects aren't really possible on an NES. And I'll actually show you that real quick because, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'll be showing off a Championship Edition D for you know the Namco Museum archives. So right. uh, let's actually see how the original Pac-Man actually played on an NES. Okay. Um, I mean, I can't imagine it being like too complex or different. Oh, of course not. It's still the same same maze muncher that you all know and love. But yeah. But it's like oh. <laughs> now it's time to go to slow mode. Yeah, the old NES sound card. Uh, still a pretty you. still a pretty faithful one to one, like I, I still think it was a pretty like, you know, one to one port of the arcade. Just sound card notwithstanding. It it was easily one of the better ports out there at the time. Just, but it's like nowadays when you have all these, all, yeah, like every collection under the sun and giving you the arcade original, it's like, it's kind of hard to go back. Oh, nice. I, know, I, was, yeah. I, got, I, I was like jumping on, like, oh my gosh, he's going to get it. But yeah. Actually, oh. yeah, that's fair. We saw enough of that. Um, t and it is, j and when you're playing, oh cool, Zevious and Mappy. But yeah, it is just a direct one to one, like, NES collection, apart uh, from the yeah, bonus. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So how about we start off this again? Game. Another per a personal favorite Namco mas mascot of mine. This is Mappy, the police mouse. Is it member of that? I, I remember you made like the overview of one of the Namco games, and you had like the cute little speech that Mappy did. I wish I could remember the whole thing word for word. Oh, <laughs> well, I remember we. I remember we did like nice. I remember we did. Uh... The uh, it was it was the big arcade collection one, which had like boss battles and stuff. Oh yeah, the classic the classic collection. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oops. Those dang mukies got literally sandwiched me. Oh, wait. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it. Oh. Uh, what was Freaking that? Yeah. That, okay, so every once in a while, Niemco, or Goro as he's called in English, will occasionally hide hide behind one of the uh, stolen um, goods that you're trying to, to uh, you know, bring, you know, take back. Yes. And um, when it, whenever you're able to actually catch it while he's behind it, uh, you get bonus score. Oh. You know, it's a good thing that the it's a good thing that the cats can't technically hurt you while you're like jumping in your trampoline. Mode. Nice. <laughs> and yeah, oh, 200 points and we got it. Nice. Just yeah, just yeah, this, uh, as the member of the micro police, your your job is to literally go through all these mansions to collect all the stolen goods from Yamco and his evil gang of Yuki's and I mean, it literally is like it's literally one of the first if not the first proper Game, prop game of cat and mouse ever to be conceived on an arcade unit. I know uh, they. I, I remember seeing a while ago, and I think it was Game Grumps who introduced me to it, that at one point, like long in, like maybe, I forget what console it was, but at one point they made a. Die. They, they made a, a mappy game that was a full on adventure platformer. 
Nice. Oop. Oh, actually, yeah. Um, I do. I think I know what you're, what you're talking about. I think it was called uh, Mappy Land. Yeah, Mappy Land. Well, funny enough, Logan, uh, Mappy Land is part of the Namco Museum archives. Oh wow! Yeah. But right. only on the second. Uh -huh. But on the second volume. Okay, we'll get to that one then later. That was the one that I remember they were playing, and then suddenly the game cartridge tilted or something, because then suddenly a wave of glitches like oh. affected the land in front of them. Anyway, so what's this dude? Oh, okay, so a... let's let's do this one next. Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti. Basically, it's a more parody parodyified version of the original Splatterhouse. Which I mean, to be fair, like the original Splatterhouse was not exactly the most kid friendly of video games. So. Let's see what it's like when you actually take it in the opposite direction. Oh, look at that little... Uh, what's the name of Rick's girlfriend again? Ashley? Oh. Okay. But brought oh, to life by the Great Slaughter Mask. Wow, the, te the Terror Mask actually threw me a bone for a change. Hmm. Hello. Yay! Hooray! You're not dead after all! Oh. oh wait. But next door, it also woke up him. The pumpkin is... Would you keep it down, you bitch? I'm trying to sleep. I also love the idea that her boyfriend just rose from the dead wearing a demonic mask, and she's like, All right! I mean, for all we know, maybe she was the one that put on the mask, and then <gasps> proceeded oh, yeah, to bury him, it. hoping that like there was some sort of... It might be some weird ritual, as far as I'm concerned. Oh my gosh, this, this reminds me of freaking... It wasn't this, there was like some... I remember there was another... Ooh. Ow. I remember we saw like another uh, chibi game. I know, I know, Snatcher had something called Super Deformed Snatcher, which was like a chibified version of the game. But like, this is so it is just a slow uh, action platformer. You know, uh, I'm not yeah, gonna, this. I'm not gonna lie. In this art style, or at the very least in the sprite, Rick looks like what's the name of the short bald guy from Dragon Ball? Uh, Krillin. Krillin? Yeah, Krillin. He kind of looks like Krillin. I can see that. Also, oh, I get hurt by that. I don't know. And also for the and also for the hype in the audience, I imagine I imagine what now the, the what the huh? Dracula he's a, Disco. He's a Dracula's a pop star. Not only a pop star, he's uh he's totally doing his own cover of a very famous uh, Michael Jackson hit. This yeah. is yeah. So do we just watch him forever, or do we uh? I mean, we could try to hurt him, but to no avail. We gotta wait for him to finish okay, the number, and then he will launch out his undead. Like so. Wow, oh, like... okay, that's... <laughs> okay. Well, that was something. But yeah, for the hype in the audience, I now imagine the terror mask sounding more like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> oh yeah, I was about to say in this instance, because it's so kitty fake. Actually, what's funny, I was gonna go in a similar direction, only instead of Pooh, I was thinking Pete. I can see... Uh, what kind of, I always forgot, what kind of voice did he put on the Terra Mask uh, in the- He put on his Robotnik voice. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, kind of, it's somewhere in between Robotnik <gasps> and Negaduck, Even. honestly, but it's that same kind of vocal depth he has. Okay. But still, interesting to see that get an American release. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those, it's one of those rare commodities that, like, it's, it's hard not to appreciate them actually trying to put the effort to localize it. So on that note, folks, uh, we'll be right back and we will show you Volume 2. Okay. okay. <laughs> These peeps are working on the next Pokemon Snap. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That is Namco's doing, isn't it? I saw a beat you on earlier. It's gonna be great. Yeah. And that's the thing I was joking about with Seely. It's like it is now officially canon. Pichu and Scorbunny are besties. It's what gonna be really great. I was saying it's gonna be really fun. It's it's cool to see all those generations. But anyway, on I'm to genuinely surprised that they're doing it. Oh yeah, so Logan, you were, you were talking about Mappy Land earlier. Well, here yeah. it is. There it is. Whoa. Also, crap! I didn't know they made a Dig Dug too. Uh, yeah, they did, and I'll actually get to that one momentarily. But first, let's go to Mappy Land, the mappiest that place on Earth. That doesn't. I was about to make that same devil damn joke. <laughs> <laughs> We're legally distinct. Actually, now that I think about funny coincidence, because they're both mice. It's like, our map is your map. <laughs> Just, oh crap! Oh. Oops. I really should not have put that mount that cat trap there. Hi, you just made me think of like, Whoa, that's an easy oh, tool. Oh, what's up? Also, hi, you just gave me a really silly image in my head. Well, well what is it? Share with the class. Oops. Ow. Also, wait, what was that coin you just got there, James? To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure, but apparently the fact that the freaking Muki there literally just ignored it, I guess it does jack and all. Maybe only Gore reacts to it. Maybe. Also, but, um, yeah, nice. um, as far as uh, map about Mappy Land is concerned, 
Um, as far as I'm concerned, like, the main goal is to collect, a, like, a whole assortment of items scattered across the, uh, playing field. Uh, -huh. uh like, the, like these, uh, like these slices, of, like these chunks of cheese, for example. And then immediately Ooh. head to the right. Oh, realizing okay, that, you know, this, you know, this ride isn't exactly all that interesting. Yeah, it's just a train ride. But yeah, I, I just imagined the whole, with all the Disneyland stuff, but just, I imagine it suddenly jumping and, like, because at that exact moment, nice. At oh, that exact uh, apparently, apparently that cat trap literally kills him. Hey. Huh. Like, I figured it was, yeah. it was just a little play thing for them. Oh, I just realized that on each level, Goro gets a cute little appropriate costume. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, way to really play, way to really huh? play up the motif! Oh. But no, the fact that James got, like, cornered and pounced upon by a Goro and another Mewki, I just imagine at Disneyland, someone wearing the Mickey Mouse costume just getting decked from both sides by cast members, <laughs> football I, tackling into the ground. Did something like that happen at one point? Like, someone, like, I think it was, like, someone punched Goofy? I don't remember punching Goofy. Someone right. punched, someone hit Tigger, and I think the guy at Tigger accidentally, like, hit back because he, like, he missed, he didn't know where he was supposed to, because he was trying to put his arm around the guy's shoulder, but he actually clocked him instead. Ow. I know, I, I think I'm, I think, oh, so this is the, so this is the main game, this is oh. the main game, so this is the main game play that Driller for the Nintendo DS really, really, like, took inspiration from. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And, uh, I mean, it is kind of funny, considering the fact that, like, it's pretty much a class all its own. So it'll just cause a bunch of... So you can just drill to dump people into the ocean, or... Or just or just take them out the old-fashioned way with your pump. I mean, yeah, yeah you got it still. I anyway, wasn't saying, um... That happened with the ticker, and then... It should be said, ladies and gentlemen, I do yeah. still want to show off, oh. like, the very... Ah, Oops. I fell right in the water. Careful. But, um... I do still want to show off these original titles and, like, you know, their actual arcade glory, but, I mean, given that this game just came out today as of this recording, I mean, I'm willing to make, a, make an exception for now. No problem. Right. Oh! 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 Okay, oh, so you can cool. save yourself from the edge. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh. it would kind of suck if you couldn't, especially considering <laughs> the fact that it usually happens whenever you actually do collapse some of the island. It, what always got me, even in the Driller DS, was I always couldn't tell, like, if I was down to, you know, if I was down to splitting an island 50-50, I could never tell which side was gonna crack. And there we go. Silly, what do you think about all these little Namco collections? Did you play, did you ever play any of these arcade games? Just Pac-Man, that's it. Okay. I remember, it, it's so weird, I remember there was a restaurant, I think it was called Ruby Tuesday? Oh, sounds no, like it sounds like a restaurant. Oh yeah, it is a restaurant. I can't remember if it was the restaurant because I, I remember like it was a chain. Game or... Freak. But... Yeah, Game Freak actually lent their hands oh, to wow. at one point, huh. and I do believe this is the first time this particular game came to the states. Uh, I remember... While we're... oh, I was gonna say real quick, sorry. While we're playing this, James, uh, does this does this collection number two have something kind of like the uh, Pac-Man Championship remake, or was that just Volume One? Uh, it does have it does have something that is basically you know exclusive to itself and especially in this day and age, but I'll get to that momentarily. In the meantime, okay. let's play Mendel Pals, which is basically one of your one of those little it's one of those games where the main goal is to take out all the enemies by literally flipping the flipping the rug right be, right below them oh. and knock them off the stage. More like more like make them collide with the wall. Oh. oh. Oh, okay, that that was a lot more violent than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, sorry, back to you, Seely, with Ruby Tuesdays. <laughs> I, like I said, I can't remember if it was that restaurant that I was playing. I remember the restaurant being really dark on the inside. Uh huh. And was it like so? It was like an arcade. So it was like an arcade place. No, it, no, it was a family. It was a family restaurant. And it had a salad bar. It was like my first experience with a salad bar. Huh. And uh, it, like in the corner of the restaurant near the door, there was a Pac-Man machine. That's fine. I remember. Oh jeez. I think it was at a round table pizza. Pizza places always had the arcades. Uh, it was at a pizza. I think it was at a round table pizza that I really like. Got into like the like original Rampage, and it was like the original Rampage. And oh gosh, uh, original Rampage and like the other big game I love playing with my friends with was Time Crisis Two. Or maybe it wasn't Time Crisis because wait, was it Time Crisis or which which game was it that actually got nice? Which game was it that actually got an official, like, home console release? Was that... Am I thinking of Time Crisis or Dino Crisis? I think it's Dino Crisis. I'm thinking no, of. it's Time Crisis. I don't think Dino Crisis was ever an arcade game. But, yeah, okay. um, actually, speaking of which, uh, here's that exclusive thing I was talking about. So, I guess at some point they just, uh... Oh, yeah, it should be said, ladies and gentlemen, that the both that the entire collections here were actually made by M2. You know, the typical, uh, M people that 
typical people that, you know, that are the best at their craft of actually bringing back classics like the Castlevania stuff or all the Sega's properties. Right. And I guess they thought, saw suit to, you know, give an old classic some love for the, or, uh, its own remake. This is Gap Plus, the official sequel to Galaga. Oh. Really? Yep, and it's, I mean, it's kind of sad to say because this title's actually kind of underrated because I honestly think it's a little better than Galaga. Oh. Hmm. Let's try, I'm, I'm curious to see. one thing, in Gap Plus, you can actually move your ship all around. Whoa. So you're not just locked to a horizontal track? Nope. Also, the sound effects, I think, are... Oh, I mean, I guess, like, I do kind of like the sound effects a little more, though I mostly say that for the arcade version. Uh, because, you know, the Galaga, the Galaga sounds are very iconic, but it gets to a point where it's, like, kind of a little, getting a little sick of hearing all that shit. This is sounding not too kind on the ears, at least. I mean, yeah, in all fairness, I do still... Again, if there ever comes to a point, I will actually show up the arcade originals just for the sake of, like, you know, representation. But, again, this is a very recent release, and I'm willing to give it some love. No worries. Uh, also... There we go. Yeah, we're on the, oh, yeah. we're on the Parsec Galaxy. Grab him. Also, I just now, also, I just now saw a, a promotional image directly from Sony that... Apparently, yes, you can actually orient the PlayStation 5 horizontally if you'd like. It doesn't have to be a giant monolith. How the heck is that even possible, considering it's literally wearing one of those very out-there sleeves? Apparently, uh, one side, the, in the photo, it has, like, a little, like, a little, like, soft disc that it Ow. sits on. I'll, I'll share it with, I'll share it after, after the session. But anyway, um, so, oh, hello. oh and we got, oh, we got, a, we can, oh, whoa, you can How actually you? use, you can use the abductor ray against them? Yep. Put them down. There you oh. go. Now, they, oh. now they're on my side. Nice. Oh. And just in time for a challenging stage. Um. Oh, damn. I don't know. I think we have an advantage. Holy crap. That is actually a lot of firepower we got now. What the? B. B. A. Oh. I think that's an A. Okay. It's, I think o. it's O. Yeah. I was, gonna spe I was spelling bonus. Oh, I thought I was going to say boo, and I was going to get very scared. Oh. Hey, boy. 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 <laughs> boy. 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 Boy, you got too many. You got too many. You, <laughs> damn it, it's I don't like, know how to follow that up. It's Wait, okay. <gasps> you know what? Now I'm just imagining Ow! like a. Oh, oh. boy. Jeez, they're getting ticked. I was about to say. Okay, I guess, I guess that's the time to switch. But I, I was also thinking <laughs> back to like a variation of the sun thing where it's like Krios. It's like, boy, are you doing heresies? Unacceptable. He pulls out his axe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on that note, fit, ladies and gentlemen, I actually do think that's a pretty good place to stop. So, hope you all oh, enjoyed our little. Before we before we leave, how much are these little collections? Uh, both collections can be bought for twenty dollars each, and I will admit <sighs> it does seem a little much considering that these are these are primarily collections based on their NES counterparts as opposed to the arcade originals. Mm -hmm. Though for Volume One, I'd say it's, it's worth it's worth it just for Pac Man Championship Edition alone. Huh. Though so it also makes me wish that they'd just up and make another Pac-Man museum already. I give it time. No. Or or like or like again. Pac-Man's 40th birthday is still here. <laughs> At least give us something that like really impactful for the yellow gobble right. gut thing. Or like again, as we saw. Yeah, that dude. Uh, and like uh, we saw, uh, and like we saw in that co-op thing we did, like bringing back some of those like collection Redux versions of these games yeah, would yeah. be nice. Yeah. I want them. I want them. On my, I want them. You know, I want to own them legitimately. I mean, I used to with a Pac-Man collection on GBA, but it's like that was a that was ancient history, and I I just want that shit on my Switch, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. On that note, that's it for our our Namco Museum Archives uh, look at. Um, it should also be worth mentioning that um, in Japan, where it's called Namcot Collection, because again, they had that weird little branding choice where instead of calling themselves Namco, they called it Namcot. I don't get it huh. either, but yeah. um. In Japan, you can, the collection is actually not even so much like the two like the two default collections we've been showing you, but it's actually one of those sort of you can technically it's technically a free app, and you can actually purchase all the other games for that app separately. Mm -hmm. And if you and in in that case, like you can, if you get at least ten of ten of the games that are you know highlighted for it, that's when you get the D make for Pac Man Championship Edition. Which I mean, truth be told, I kind of wish it, I, we had that option because I don't really want all the games on these collections because there's a few duds here. Yeah, I don't know. It just makes sense for this kind of thing. But uh, well, that's pretty much my two cents on the matter. Hope you all enjoyed our look at and uh, 
Till next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Walk. Wait for it. Ah.